15 Things You Didn't Know About Colgate Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about Colgate Palmolive, a highly successful multinational conglomerate. Colgate Palmolive started as a starch, soap, and candle factory in New York City with the name William Colgate & Company. It was established by 23-year-old William Colgate. When William died in 1857, his son Samuel reluctantly took over the company, and it was under his leadership that the first Colgate toothpaste was produced in 1873. In 1928, the world's best-selling soap company Palmolive Peat bought the Colgate Company to create the Colgate Palmolive Peat Company. The Peat was dropped from the title in 1953, and the company has been called Colgate Palmolive ever since. Colgate has now been in operation for over 210 years, and their company has incorporated many brands, including Soft Soap, Bright, Speedstick, Murphy's Oil, Irish Spring, Toms of Maine, and Ajax. They have consistently been an industry leader in oral healthcare and household products throughout their long history. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We are inspired by Colgate Palmolive's incredible success, long-running history, and dominance in their field. So let's take a closer look at this well-known company with the 15 things you didn't know about Colgate Palmolive. Number 1. Colgate is older than the Statue of Liberty and Central Park The Colgate Company has been in operation in New York City in some form for over 210 years, which means it predates many of the landmarks New York City is known for. Colgate was established in 1806, while Central Park was established in 1857, the Statue of Liberty in 1886, and Times Square in 1904. Number 2. Their toothpaste was originally offered in jars Colgate introduced their toothpaste to the market in 1873 packaged in jars. 23 years later, in 1896, they debuted Colgate Ribbon Dental Cream, the first toothpaste in a tube, with the slogan, We couldn't improve the product, so we improved the tube. Number 3. Colgate's Bright Smiles Bright Futures has reached 900 million children. In 2016, Colgate celebrated the 25th anniversary of their global oral health education program, Bright Smiles, Bright Futures. To date, the program has brought oral health education and free dental screenings to 900 million children and their families in 80 countries around the globe, with 200 million of those being reached in just the past two years. Colgate has a goal of reaching 1.3 billion children by 2020. Number 4. Colgate is sold in over 200 countries and territories worldwide. Beating out American sales by 3%, Latin America claimed the largest market share for Colgate Palmolive products in 2016 with a 24% market share. The third largest market was Asia Pacific with 18%, followed by Europe with 16%. Colgate has a sales presence in over 200 countries and territories around the world. Number 5. Their product helped inspire a Nirvana song In 1992, Colgate Palmolive acquired the Menon Company for $670 million. Menon's products were comprised of aftershave, lotion, and deodorant, including Teen Spirit deodorant. The product was famously referenced in the title of Nirvana's 1991 hit, Smells Like Teen Spirit. A friend of lead singer Kurt Cobain wrote, Kurt smells like teen spirit on his wall, referencing the brand of deodorant his girlfriend at the time wore. Cobain then wrote the song with teen spirit in the title, but he didn't know until months after the song was released that it was actually a brand of deodorant. Number 6. Colgate in Spanish means, Go hang yourself. When Colgate was introduced in some Spanish-speaking markets, they faced a bit of a marketing nightmare, since Colgate in Spanish literally means, Go hang yourself. There was some concern about the effect this would have on sales, but the Colgate brand still enjoys immense success in Spain and Spanish-speaking South American countries. Some even say that the meaning of the name helped to contribute to its success. Number 7. Colgate has over 55% of the global toothpaste market share Colgate has been dominant in the toothpaste industry for over a century. According to 2015 numbers, they hold 56.7% of the total global toothpaste market share. 
Their closest competitor is Hull, with 21.5%. Over $12 billion in toothpaste is sold every year around the world, with over $2 billion in sales coming from the United States alone. Colgate also has the leading market share in global toothbrush sales as well, with 33%. Number 8. Colgate was found guilty of misleading consumers. For years, Colgate was known for saying that more than 80% of dentists recommend its toothpaste, but this claim was found to be misleading by the United Kingdom's Advertising Standards Authority back in 2007. It was determined that the survey Colgate conducted gave dentists the option to recommend more than one type of toothpaste, but their advertising gave the impression that Colgate was recommended over other brands. Colgate also did not gain permission from the interviewees to share their recommendations. And as a result, Colgate was instructed to stop using the misleading claim in their advertising. Number 9. William Colgate gave 50% of his profits to religious organizations. In 1798, when William Colgate was 15 years old, his family moved from England to America. He had worked in a soap manufacturing shop in England and planned to establish his own soap business in New York. He told this to the captain of the boat he was traveling on, and the captain said, Someone will soon be the leading soap maker in New York. You can be that person, but you must never lose sight of the fact that the soap you make has been given to you by God. He also told Colgate he should give 10% of his profits to the church. Colgate never forgot what the boat captain said. He tithed religiously by giving one-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, and then eventually 50% of all of his earnings to Christian churches and organizations. Number 10. Colgate Palmolive is the 59th most valuable brand in the world. It's estimated that there are more than 7 billion brands in the world today, so it's pretty impressive that Colgate comes in as 59th most valuable brand among them. Colgate Palmolive posted $15.2 billion in sales in 2016 and currently has a market cap of $64.9 billion. It's also listed as the 29th top regarded company, the 55th on the world's best employers list, and the 97th most innovative company. If you'd like to learn some more about the brand that falls right beneath them on the valuable brands list, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Porsche. Number 11. Colgate has donated over $288 million in pet food to animal shelters. Many people don't know that Colgate also has a pet food and nutrition division focused around the Hills Pet Nutrition brand. Since 2002, Colgate has donated over $288 million in pet food to about 1,000 animal shelters globally, which has helped in the adoption of more than 8 million cats and dogs. Number 12. Colgate sold about 200 million units of toothpaste in the U.S. in 2017. Colgate was by far one of the most popular toothpaste brands in the United States in 2017, with nearly 200 million units sold. The most popular option was the traditional Colgate brand toothpaste, which sold 83.4 million units. Colgate also sold 47.1 million units of Colgate Total, 38.9 million units of Colgate Optic White, and 26.8 million units of Colgate Max Fresh. Number 13. India has successfully blocked two patents claims from Colgate Palmolive. India has twice successfully blocked patents that Colgate Palmolive attempted to claim because they were based on traditional Indian medicinal treatments and the medicinal properties of Indian herbs. In one case, Colgate was attempting to patent a cavity treatment containing nutmeg, ginger, bakul tree, camphor, turmeric, neem, and clove. The patent examiner ruled in the favor of India, since ancient Indian texts contained the same recipe for treating mouth disorders. Other companies that India has successfully blocked patents for include Nestle, L'Oreal, and Unilever. Number 14. Colgate Palmolive is only publicly listed in two countries. Although sold in over 200 countries, Colgate Palmolive is only publicly listed in two, the United States and India. The company first appeared on the New York Stock Exchange back in 1930, in the middle of the Great Depression. They became a publicly traded company in India in 1979. Number 15. Colgate helped to set a record for the most people brushing their teeth simultaneously. 
Of course, if Colgate was going to set a record, it would have to do with teeth brushing. On October 9, 2007, Colgate Palmolive in India, in cooperation with the Indian Dental Association, organized the world record-breaking attempt of 177,003 people brushing their teeth at the same time in 380 locations across India. Now that you learned some more about Colgate, we'd like to know, how often do you buy Colgate brands? Let us know down in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. Tom's of Maine is a brand that offers natural oral and body care products, and it was started by Tom and Kate Chappell in 1970 with just $5,000. In 2006, 84% of the company was purchased by Colgate Palmolive for $100 million when Tom and Kate decided to focus on Christian ministry. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.